Hello everybody, welcome to Easy Freezer Meals. Today we're gonna to be making Belgian waffles and I think you're gonna love the light and fluffy and moist and crispy nature of these waffles. The recipe will be posted below. But to get started, we're gonna take all of our dry ingredients and then whisk those together. So we're gonna take our flour, cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, and a little bit of salt. And with a whisk, we're just gonna make sure that we incorporate those well. If there's any clumps, this will break them up. And then in another bowl, we're gonna take our wet ingredients. So take our egg yolks. We're gonna take the vanilla. We're gonna take butter or oil. In this case, I'm using oil. And then we're gonna go take some buttermilk. And this could possibly be the secret ingredient to making these amazing. And go ahead and whisk that so that it's all well incorporated. Once you have that well whisked together, go ahead and take your wet ingredients, add them to your dry ingredients, and very gently whisk all that together. You don't wanna overwork it, but you do wanna to try to make sure that all those ingredients are incorporated with minimal lumps. So far so good, set that to the side. Now we're gonna whisk our egg whites. So in a mixing bowl or in a bowl with your hand mixer, start on a low speed, add your egg whites, and then gradually increase that to a medium to high speed until you form soft peaks. As soon as you form soft peaks, it's time to add our sugar. So turn the mixer back on, Add your sugar and beat that until your peaks are stiff and glossy. You're gonna notice that after a few minutes, your egg foam is gonna really start to come together. It's gonna to be very, very glossy and the peaks are gonna be really stiff and you just wanna make sure that you don't over mix it. But once you get those stiff, glossy peaks, very gently with a spatula, start to incorporate that into your waffle batter. Having a gentle hand in this step is incredibly important to keeping your waffles light, fluffy, moist, and crispy. This is what sets Belgian waffles apart from all other waffles. And what we don't wanna do is destroy all those beautiful little air bubbles that we just created inside of that egg foam. So using kind of like a figure eight motion with your spatula, slowly start to incorporate that egg foam into your waffle mixture, and this is what it's gonna look like. So therapeutic. I just absolutely love that step. Okay, now that our waffle mixture is done, let's cook some waffles. I'm using my waffle iron set to about a medium, and I'm gonna put about a cup of waffle mixture right in the very center and go ahead and close it. Now, depending on how crispy you want yours or how soft you want yours, you're gonna cook it for between seven to eight minutes. But after seven to eight minutes, this is what your Belgian waffles are gonna look like. And all you're gonna do now is delicately remove that Belgian waffle, set it to the side, and pour yourself another one. This recipe is gonna make anywhere between nine to 12 Belgian waffles, and don't limit yourself to just having this for breakfast. Have a waffle hamburger, or waffles and fried chicken. Ooh wee, I'm making myself hungry. Once you're done preparing all your waffles, you're gonna take these and you're gonna store them in a freezer variety Ziploc bag. These freezer variety Ziploc bags will fit roughly four waffles comfortably and they'll last in your freezer for anywhere between three to five months. So to reheat some of these Belgian waffles, all you're gonna do is take that Ziploc bag full of delicious waffles out of the freezer. Take out only what you intend to eat, put the rest back in the freezer, and then put those waffles that are frozen, you don't wanna let them thaw, on a cookie sheet at 350 degrees for roughly about 15 minutes. It just depends on how crispy you want it. The longer you leave it in there, the crispier they're gonna get. Once they're done, serve them up and allow your imagination to run completely wild. Eat them with fresh fruit, peaches, with cottage cheese, with a little bit of butter, with some maple syrup, with some honey, with fried chicken. Use these as a French toast base get completely nuts. Matter of fact, I'd love to hear in the comment section below how you plan on eating your Belgian waffles. And that's how we make Belgian waffles as an easy freezer meal. Thank you for joining me on this week's episode. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. We want to say welcome to all of those who are new to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. Be sure to give it a like and a share. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.